Hi, this is McCoy Buck with WatchMeWork.com. And in this lecture, we're gonna be talking about the Manipulate Bone Tool. The Manipulate Bone Tool we talked about a little bit briefly, but this tool is gonna be the one that you're probably going to use the most out of all of them. It's Z on your keyboard or this icon right here. Now you see when I click on that Manipulate Bones tool, the bone strength is actually now visible. This shows me that this rig is flexi-bound. Now we haven't gone over flexi-binding yet, but we will soon. But the one important thing to know about the Manipulate Bones tool is it's going to be used for your animation, but it's also going to be used for your rigging. Now we're on frame zero right now. So what can I do with this Manipulate Bones tool on frame zero? One of the best ways that you can use the Manipulate Bones tool is to test out your rig to see if everything is moving and bending properly. So when you go through and you bind your bones to your rig, let's say I bound the arm. So right after binding the arm, I'm not gonna move on to the other parts. I'm just gonna test the arm and see how it bends, see how it works. Because what I can do with this tool while I have it active and while I'm bending down or something like that, I can hit S on the keyboard to bring up my bone strength and because this is flexi binding and it's being influenced by the bone strength, I can adjust those parameters to however I would like. Same thing with body bends. If I wanted to manipulate his torso, I would simply select the torso and I could bend his body down. And from there, I can see what I need to do in order to fix this character. Now, because this character is simple and I created it for a simple walk cycle like the one you see there, the bones that I'd be mostly testing is his spine for leaning back, his head bone, which is moving good, everything's in the right place, and his legs. So let's check out his legs. You can see that these have target bones and we'll talk a little bit about those later on. But these target bones, I can manipulate and I can move around. But as you can see there, I'm not getting very desirable results. And if you aren't familiar with target bones, one of the things that you cannot manipulate on frame zero are any of the children bones of the target bone. So for example, this foot. So in order to manipulate those bones and test those out to see how those work, I would go to frame one. Therefore, I now have that ability to manipulate those bones. But the one thing to remember about the Manipulate Bones tool is it basically allows you on frame zero to test your rig and see how everything is moving. As far as target bones and things like that, we'll talk about that later, flexi binding as well. But just know that Z on the keyboard or Manipulate Bones tool is how you're going to be moving your character around for testing. And that is it for this section for the bone tool palette. Be sure and join me in the next section where we go over the different methods of binding in Moho and Anime Studio. I'll see you there.